Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you're all doing really wonderful. And so uh, it might not be very pleasant for many of us thanks to the heat, but nevertheless, uh, I'm here with an update video to keep you guys posted on all that is happening this evening and what is expected as we head through the rest of today. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Alright, so let's go ahead and kickstart things with our disturbance. Invest 94L. Now, that low pressure center of it is located to the northeast of Bermuda, and we can see that a general eastward track is expected until it starts moving to the northeast. And so it is in marginally conducive conditions. It'll try to get itself together. However, it has limited time because once it is going to start moving to the northeast, it is going to be making its way into much cooler waters, and that is going to limit any further intensification. So it has some limited time out there to, uh, to get itself together. In terms of what it is looking like on satellites, here we have this area in association with it, but let's see if it is going to be sustaining this activity and uh, gaining some circulation and eventually becoming maybe a depression or even a subtropical or tropical storm as you're going to be heading into Thursday or Friday. So uh, not a threat to land at the moment. Now let's go ahead and look at the sea surface temperature map and here we can see that in the vicinity of the disturbance and ahead of it, it's mainly that 25 degrees Celsius isotherm. There we have those lower temperatures as we head up uh, more up to the north, 24, 23, 22. So once it moves up, uh, that, it, that there's going to be no more chance for this to try to become something out there. But we want to look at some other areas going into the Gulf of Mexico off the southeastern coast of the U.S. and also in the vicinity of the northern Bahamas and the northwestern Caribbean. Look at this, uh, 29, 31, 30 degrees Celsius. Now this is one what causes rapid intensification of many hurricanes uh, during the season. And we are seeing these kinds of temperatures in the uh, the month of July. This is something that we would see August go into September. So uh, it is likely that it could even get warmer than this as we approach the peak of the hurricane season. So if all other conditions such as that favorable wind shear and loss of moisture are present and with these kinds of temperatures we can expect some crazy intensification this hurricane season as we head to the peak. So uh, it is quiet for now but this is just uh, the calm before the storm because it it is going to get more active as we head into next month and into the peak month which is roughly two months from now and I mean yeah this kind of warm in two months prior to the peak of the hurricane season is concerning so uh, again guys we're not having much now but I just want to reiterate the facts that we should all be having our plans in place should in case we're impacted by anything this season but let's go ahead and take a look at what is currently happening across some different areas and as we take a look at the Caribbean basin there we can see uh, two main spots of activity over in the east and the southwestern Caribbean. So uh, over in the vicinity of Central America, for most areas, it is pretty sunny and hot, uh, but there is some thunderstorm developing for some spots, and we see all that concentrated activity down in the southwestern Caribbean and along the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, going to Costa Rica and Panama as well. So likely bringing lots of heavy rainfall to many spots. Uh, going up to Cuba, there is some thunderstorm activity developing across the western side of the island and also for Isle of Youth. Going to the Cayman Islands. Things are pretty much in the clear right now. Similar story for Jamaica. Uh, heading over into Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands are not seeing much. And a similar story as well as we look at most of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. So again, there is that dry air uh, in association with the Saharan area, which extends across the area. So that is what is helping to stabilize weather conditions and prevent any major shower and thunderstorm activity from developing. And so now we want to go to Northern South America as well as uh, the ABC islands and so we are seeing that most of the activity this evening uh, is taking place across parts of Venezuela uh, especially northern Venezuela and there we have the ABC islands in between all of that uh, shower and thunderstorm activity to the north of it and in Venezuela so unfortunately there isn't much rainfall hopefully some of that can spill into the islands and there can be a relief from all of this heat that has been pretty much dominant and then uh, as we look over into uh, other areas Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana there isn't much some cloud cover 
cover along with some thunderstorms in some parts of Colombia. Going to Trinidad, uh, there was some thunderstorm activity that appears to be dissipating right now, so nothing much happening there. Also for Tobago, for Grenada and the Grenadines, uh, likely that things are in the clear right now, maybe some overcast skies. Going to St. Vincent, out to St. Lucia, Martinique, there is some activity as well. Uh, similar story for, uh, for Barbados. And when we see more of those shades of darker reds and those blacks and grays, that is where we have the heaviest rainfall. So uh, we're not seeing a lot of that across these islands right now. Let's go a bit more north and we can see that as we head into Dominica, going to Guadeloupe, also some coverage there, some cloud coverage. And as we head into the uh, rest of the Leeward Islands, likely some rainfall across some spots, possibly some thunderstorms as well, and maybe some occasional sunshine here and there. But overall, it's likely been a gloomy day for many areas. And so guys, uh, that is what is happening across the Caribbean this evening. So again, that main area of concern or those main areas are in the Southwest Caribbean and also in the Eastern Islands. And then again, as that activity is going to be encountering all that dry air in association with that Saharan air layer, it is going to be dissipating as we head to the next couple of days. And so it's been very hot for most of us here. And also guys, please be on the lookout for uh, another video on my recently rebooted second channel, which is Weather X. I might post another video later this week, but I'll let you guys know for sure when that video is up. So be on the lookout for that. Maybe I'll post it sooner rather than later. And that is pretty much it for right now. And so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance. And remember to always be weatherwise.